What's up guys, it's Jesse with FPSSquared.com and if you've been keeping up with tech news or Apple news lately then you're probably well aware of the fact that Apple recently added official mouse and keyboard support as well as trackpad support to the iPad in the newest version of iPad OS. Now, a lot of reviewers and YouTubers have been focusing on the laptop replacement aspect of this in terms of productivity and, you know, web browsing and just basic things like that. But seeing as this is a channel for video games and specifically PC gaming, I thought it would be interesting to see um, how gaming is on an iPad with a mouse and a keyboard. So that's what this video is going to be about. I downloaded Minecraft, subscribed to Apple Arcade, and I'm even going to try out Steam Link to see if any of these things work effectively with a keyboard and mouse on the iPad. Alright guys, so here we are. I've got the... I just got like a Apple Magic keyboard that I have hooked up to this thing. And then the uh, Logitech, one of the light speed mice i can't remember the specific one that i have but it's one of the logitech oh there we go g604 light speed gaming wireless mouse so i've got those hooked up um let's see before i get into it i will say that like what people are saying what reviewers are saying about how this could be a laptop replacement is 100 percent accurate um this is actually really nice um, and like very not really that much different than just using like a MacBook like it's very similar to using MacBook Air it's actually crazy how well this all works and I would imagine that if you get that really expensive iPad case with your iPad Pro that there would not be much of a difference at all but anyway Let's uh, go back home here. I've got two games so far. Uh, and, well, that's the two that we're going to try out. We've got Minecraft and we've got Oceanhorn. And so, yeah, I'm moving the mouse around and nothing's happening. Uh, okay. Using the keyboard. Nothing's happening. Let's see if we can go into settings. So you can see, like, it does work in terms of moving a cursor and clicking on things but like actually recognizing the movement of the mouse as the movement of a head in game it's not doing so if i click on it and move the mouse like it's my like the cursor is my finger it will work it will recognize it um but for some reason there are keyboard and mouse settings so why isn't this working full keyboard gameplay and then what is this so I can get it to work if I make it you know if I click and hold the mouse and then look around it's like recognizing that as my finger you know just like this it's recognizing it as that um, but as far as actually just moving the mouse and him look around it's not working WASD to walk not working uh, nothing's working let's try an Apple arcade game this is Oceanhorn 2 it seemed to be the most appropriate game that I could find uh, to use a keyboard and mouse on a lot of these games to be fair to Apple are really designed around using your fingers and touch so We'll see if this does anything at all different. And unfortunately, same thing. Like, it's not recognizing this at all. Which is honestly, it's really a bummer because they have, like, uh, controller support. Uh, but they don't have... Let's see if there's any settings at the main menu. They don't seem to have any uh, support for keyboard and mouse. Now, 
I will say, you know, it is, this is a new feature. Like, this feature is not even a month old yet on iPad, uh, at least of officially and in an official release of the OS, to be able to use a keyboard and a mouse uh, on the iPad at all is new, so maybe give it time for developers to patch support for this in, but I would have really expected like some of the Apple stuff in particular to have already had support built in. We're going to try Steam Link. And to do that, I'm going to have to get Steam opened up on my computer. And hopefully this will work. Yeah, it even says already touch controller. So I have a feeling this also is not going to work. This is actually working. Um, there's a delay, but that's just because of Steam Link. Like the actual keyboard and mouse is working So there you have it guys, uh, that's the results of trying to play games on the iPad with a keyboard and mouse as of right now. Um, kind of weird that local games don't support it at all, but Steam, there hasn't been an update to the app, there hasn't been any news or anything, Steam just supports it natively, automatically right out the gate. Um, which is just, it's weird to me. I was expecting the opposite to, to be true going into this video. I was like, well, Minecraft will definitely work because Minecraft just always works with everything. So I was really surprised that that Minecraft didn't work. Um, and it's weird that it's got the options for keyboard access or keyboard gameplay, but then it doesn't actually work. Um... And then I also would have expected Apple games to support it. Like, I figured there would have been a day one patch for all the Apple arcade games to support keyboard and mouse uh, in, in the games. But clearly that wasn't the case. So it was just weird that, to me, that uh, Steam was the one thing that worked. So if you want to play games with a keyboard and a mouse on an iPad and you just really are dying to do that you can kind of with steam link so there you have it that's the video that is the results of using a keyboard and mouse right now on the ipad for gaming If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, um, and be sure to check out our website at fpssquared.com. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.